Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This week I'm using a new deck, it's called the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding. You can see the review, I've gone really uh, into detail with this review and you can see how how the cards look like and you can also see how the cards are put together and the overall picture. So have a look. It's quite a long video, but I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you are looking for new decks. For those that uh, have come here for the reading, welcome. This is your reading from the 7th to the 13th of September. And um, please subscribe and hit the bell on all if you're new and welcome. If you would like to become a cyber angel, like uh, you will hear me say my cyber angel quite a bit in the videos, please join us or me for uh, in the life on Monday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. And welcome back to my usual loyal followers and viewers, the Cyber Angels. Thank you for your loyalty and trust. There is also a special offer on this week. It was only to remain uh, until the coming Sunday, but because I didn't go live yesterday, I didn't really announce it again. There is a special offer and this will be until uh, for an one and a half weeks. So uh, Sunday the 13th, this special offer will finish. You can have an extensive reading and a very in-depth reading um, for 35 euros. It will be about 30 minutes long and I don't stop at 30 minutes. If it's 32 or 35 minutes, I would like to get finish the reading. It is quality and not quantity that I believe in. So if you want, would like to have an extensive reading, then get in there before it's over and uh, you'll be the first come, first served. Okay, so I hope you will take a note of that and try it out. If you would like to have any other reading, uh, then have a look at the website because there are different readings and see what reading you want to have for 30 minutes. If you just want a romance reading, fine. If you want a crystal ball reading with cards, then I'll do that in the 30 minutes. The 30 minutes is for any reading that you wish to have. Okay, now let's begin and let's go to the story your story for this week. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Please like and share. Thank you. Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the 7th to the 13th of September and I'm using the Transparent Tarot and I've laid out the four cards. You're going to get 12 cards in total and you'll get the big picture at the end. Okay, first of all we have the Four of Swords for you, just lying there. Somebody's taking a rest or taking time out to do meditation or contemplation and evaluation. But somebody is being still. <laughs> I love the way it's being depicted. I love this deck, I really do. And it comes together like nobody's business. So on Monday you might be uh, pulling back and taking it easy, taking a rest or meditate or you might even be on holiday. Remember I do read for thousands so perhaps you might have gone on holiday um, the week before. Have a look at last week's reading. Okay, perhaps it might flow over into this week. Okay. Then on Wednesday we have the death card, the scythe, which the uh, the ghost or the spirit of death carries symbolically. This is not a real death, um, it is a, a, a time of transformation. You're cutting away with the old, In other, that's what the scythe does, it cuts away with the old, or well, it cuts the grass away and harvests. It's how you just wish to choose to see it. It is a transformational period anyway. You're no longer the caterpillar. 
you've taken your rest, you've contemplated and you've decided what you want to do. So that is why you are in transformation. You're actually gone and done it. You've made the decision and you're going into a new future and by the looks of it it will be a very positive phase you're going into because you've got the sun the sun means that time is fertile now you, if you want to get pregnant then you can get pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions the time is also fertile for new projects not only for getting pregnant or giving birth to something this could be a child, but this could also be a new job, a new hobby, a new relationship, as the sun also stands for going up the next step. This could be the next step in your job, like a promotion, or the next step in a study to specialize in something, or the next step in a relationship. So if you're going out, you might be getting engaged or moving in with each other as the sun is also the card for moving home or going on holiday well this is going to be a long holiday and you might be transforming on holiday that could be the issue as well and then we've got the three of staves the three of wands your plans are coming to fruition they're coming together awesome like I said, it's a positive time, it's a fertile time. So ideas that you've had at the beginning of the week or previously are coming into fruition. Wow, because the rays of the sun beams warmth on the little seedling to spring open and grow. That is how beautiful it is. But the sun also means that you're in the spotlight and the spotlight means that there is also an other side to it, the dark side. Something is being illuminated, made bigger, because the sun also grows and it makes things big. So it needs to have, um, you need to get control of something and you need to seek more information, advice, or do a little bit more research before you actually bring your plans to fruition now I'm going to take the cards and I'm going to lay them down and that's uh, on top of each other okay now we've got the suits of swords underneath and now we've got the suits of cups and we have I'll show it to you the two of cups there you go the two of cups now here you can see somebody is holding the hands or they've come together two means partnerships okay two um, the two of cups also means new love and that's what I said you might be moving in together joining together perhaps that is what you've been uh, taking time out for to think and there might be a pregnancy so there are three or perhaps twins that could be four so something is coming together you're not sp you're not spreading yourself too thin you don't want to be cut off anymore you're emotionally in balance because you can see that this body is lying straight so it's also balanced awesome now the next card that we have is the five of cups five of cups and I'm trying to put them and we put that on the death card now the five of cups means don't cry over spilt milk look the scythe is cutting away and it's tumbled the two cups that were standing so yes of course that was from the past you've cut yourself away from the past but you're not seeing what you still have, the three of cups that are still standing. Usually it's three cups fallen away and two standing, but you have, you've, you're taking something with you, but you're looking at what you don't have. You don't realize what you do have. 
you have more than you think. Turn your head, look around and see that you've still got your health, your talents, your knowledge. You can take care of yourself. You're going into a new phase and a much better phase. You're no longer a prisoner of the past. You're leaving that behind and you've faced it because you're facing the scythe. Okay, so you're forming a partnership. Okay, you've thought about it. But you are cutting away the BS. You want a beautiful future, most probably expansion with this partnership. This could be with a water sign. Now we have the world. And the world is beautiful. It is like this. Look. I don't know whether you can see it. That is the world. Number 21. Something comes round full circle. The rainbows are here. The rainbow of life. The rainbow. The phases. And it is being warmed by the sun. How beautiful is that? Something comes full circle. There is an ending and a new beginning. Again, travel. You might be moving home. You might be interlocking with each other and moving in together if you're not hooked up. If you are hooked up, you might be moving home because you want to expand your family. Because this is the birth card. Also, the world is a new beginning. This could be of a birth, but you want to expand the family. Be happy. Going on to the next level, like the sun. So you might be taking up two levels. So the number two is quite significant here. Okay? Two, two. Two levels. Because the sun is a new beginning and the world is a new beginning. So I think you are happy with this new beginning. This is also the karma card. And the karma card means that if you've done good, then you will receive good. You will receive the colors of the rainbow. It's like um, garlands when, you're, when it's your birthday. That is how I feel when I see the rainbow. And knowing that heaven and earth is uh, joined together. You are part of the divine. You're part of the world, the, the, the cosmos. So you're part of spirit. And remember that you're never alone. And that's why the sun will always shine. Even if it is raining outside, the sun will always shine within your heart. Wow, beautiful. Again, a new face and leaving the old behind. You might be even traveling for work. What goes up must come down. What goes round comes round. That is why it is my karma card. Now we've got the phoenix. We've got the phoenix. Number 20. And that is judgment. Look at that. Now we've got the three of ones and there is a little fire. So what is coming out of the fire? Wow. The phoenix. You are the phoenix. You can spread your wings now and you can fly and rise again. Because this is judgment and this is a new beginning. Perhaps a second chance. Perhaps there was a third party in your, in your relationship. But they're gone now. They're lying there like a dead person. And we have got the death card. So they have vanished. They've been cut out of the picture. There's no three anymore, okay? Because he's not standing there in the middle between you. He's lying down. It's like if he's been cut down, to put it crudely. I don't like saying a death, but this could be somebody could be cut out of a relationship. You have fought for your relationship, and that is your second beginning. A reconciliation. You're rising from the ashes. You're bigger than the other person. You stood above it. Now we're going to the third layer. Let's see how the story continues. You have the king 
of ones. There you go. Again, the king of wants goes for what he wants and what he's passionate about and what he loves. He's determined. He thinks about it logically, strategically, and he goes for what he wants. Look, he's moving forward. He's looking at the scythe, cutting away and starting again. A second chance. This could be you, but this could also be your partner that has chosen for you and to give the relationship a second chance. He's driven, risen above as well. He believes in the union. If you look right, very carefully, the hands are just around the area of his heart. That is how magic these cards are. Well done. Now we've got the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups lies on top of the scythe and the Five of Cups. You're not crying over spilt milk anymore. You can hardly see the scythe. You can only see the handle. Okay? So now all the love and the divine light is enhancing the big picture. Look at that. Now that's lying dead on exactly. Boom. Love heals all. You're going into the new face. Look, there's nothing there in the past. And now we've only got the future. So take with you what you can. We learn from your lesson from the past. You don't want to be left with nothing again. But don't cry over spilt milk. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. And that goes on Friday. Now, you think, how can I tell a story with that? He's just standing there, but he's got his back turned to the sun. So, in order to carry on and to succeed in, in this situation, you need to open your heart, feel the warmth, so turn towards the sun. Okay? Don't close yourself off emotionally, mentally, or physically. Turn round. See the colors. See the beauty. See the warmth. Don't close yourself off because you're scared of losing your partner that you've just um, reconciled with. You have to talk, communicate contemplate, meditate and evaluate the situation at hand. And how can you open up? You can open up by thinking and like I said, evaluating. And talk together so you know what the other person wants and know their boundaries and know your boundaries. Have fun, have love, open your heart and your solar plex and your mind to new ideas. The new beginning is there behind you, so turn round and see it coming. And then we have the Five of Pentacles, and we're going to put that on the Phoenix. Now, you've got a new start. And a new start means that you might have lost friends. They've left your relationship. They've left you and your partner to get on with it. Because a fifth wheel on the wagon or a third party can be disruptive. Especially if the relationship is having a new beginning, a new love. Okay? So you might feel um, you might feel that you're left out. You did feel left out with this third party here. This is not even the three of swords, but there was or well, there could have been a third party. This could have been working over hours and being at the office 
It could have been a person. It could have been a hobby that was more important than you, and you felt left out. But all this, you've opened up. You're opening up. You've turned round to the sun. You're the Phoenix, Phoenix rising from the ashes. Your plans have come together. You've done the work. You've asked for help, because the Five of Pentacles in other decks also you can see a church window there so you have asked help from the divine from the angels you've done your meditation you've seeked answers from within and you've gone into action like the king of wands so that you would unite again and there would be understanding and there wouldn't be a loss okay you've cut out the bs the bad situations the bad or the troubling things and you are go you are being warned now to open up perhaps you were closed off or they were closed off and they felt left out but now there is a new beginning a second chance you are opening up or they are opening up towards you they can understand you better because you've talked about it and of course with the five of wands you realize that you might feel left out or they might have felt left out but you've talked about it so you know what to do about it in order not to let it happen again beautiful okay Aquarius now I'm going to give you an, a card from time to shine that's an angel card and you've got wisdom well you've got very much thinking this person is thinking but has closed himself off here he looks like he's thinking about things on how to get back into um, the life and be happy wisdom time to use kindness to get results be confident and strong using compassion will bring results yes talk love open your hearts and then you will receive love again you have to feed something in order for it to grow and develop if you want your relationship to be developed then um, nurture it okay and the angel feather is lime green angel feather money is about to manifest there you are you thought you might not have enough but you stood up and you opened up and you took action you asked for help could be from the Aries or Leo or Sagittarius the king of wands because he does know how to go for it and fight for what he wants and believes and take action he's very strategic your cup is going to flow over like it shows here you're going to rise from the ashes even if this is business work or relationship money is about to manifest the angels ask that you feel the marvelous feeling of anticipation as you are about to receive an abundance of money there you go beautiful you are going from a four to a five so that's also showing that there is going to be more now the angel answer of the angels is let go let go let go of the BS don't cry over spilled milk be cheerful be happy be the magnet be the beacon of light for your friends or partner or colleagues I hope you have enjoyed this reading Aquarius take care and spread your wings so please share and like thank you